Hey guys, it's MA Fish Guy. Uh, today's video is actually not going to be on fish breeding. It's going to be on the Marimo Moss Ball. Um, these are quite a unique plant, especially for beta tanks. Uh, a lot of owners love these just because of the free willingness that they, you know, kind of sink and float. Um, but I want to go over the care about them. Uh, there have been a lot of questions on a lot of forums, and I have gotten quite a few emails on how to care for these. Um, they're actually quite easy to care for. Uh, and actually easy to get a hold of now. Uh, a lot of your stores like Petco, PetSmart, your local pet stores are selling these. Uh, you don't want to pay more than like eight to nine dollars for these. They should go around five ninety nine to seven ninety nine. Um, you want to look for a decent size uh, Marimo. You know, no brown sides, no white specks on it. You just want a lush green ball, basically. Um, and if it's sinking, floating, really doesn't matter. Um, the lighting is actually pretty general for these guys. You don't want direct sunlight, but then they don't also require special sunlight like a lot of your aquarium plants do. Uh, and actually what happens is when they float and sink, it's all depending on the light that they receive. Once they receive enough light to basically feed them, per se, uh, they do sink back down. Uh, that's why you see when the sunlight's strongest during the day, if they're in ponds or anything like that, they actually sink, they actually float all the way up, and then once they get the sunlight, they sink back down. Uh, over in Japan, these are actually pretty much like pets. They keep them in a little jar with some rocks and actually name them. Uh, so it's quite a different culture over there uh, when it comes to these. Uh, but like I said, they are easy to get a hold of. Um, basically your fish won't really touch them. Um, your shrimp you can do in a the tank, they're going to eat off of it, but it's really not going to hurt them. Um, the main reason why I use these in my tank is the uh, ability to kind of help control algae. Uh, what these guys are going to do is they're going to absorb the nutrients before the actual algae does, uh, making your tank basically crystal clear in the process, um, which is great. You know, you don't have to use any kind of chemicals or anything like that with a chance of killing fish. Uh, I tried out a new chemical. Uh, I'll be doing a review on it shortly, hopefully within the next week, that actually killed probably about three to four of my fish. So doing things chemical-free is probably the way I'm going to stick to doing it. Uh, and I definitely want to stay that way. Unless someone has any more chemicals out there that kind of help clear up a cloudy tank, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll give it a shot and try it. Um, but back to the Marimo Moss Balls, um, these guys can also go with your Fiddler Crabs, your Red Claw Crabs, uh, Plecos, pretty much anything is going to be fine with them. Uh, you do want to keep it away from larger cichlids because they will kind of tear them apart. Um, and speaking of tearing them apart, if you want to actually help reproduce these guys, uh, all you pretty much do is rip them apart and roll them back into a ball again. Uh, the only requirement that I do recommend that you do is probably about every week to two weeks, pull the Marimo Moss Ball out, squeeze all the water out, roll it into like a ball so it's tight, and then basically put it back under the water, squeeze it, and then roll it again under the water. Uh, this is going to kind of help everything move around and make sure that every part of the, the Moss Ball is actually getting light and the nutrients that it needs. Um, when it comes to these, uh, like I said, no special lighting, no special feeding, no CO uh, for the tanks. Uh, they pretty much just take care of themselves. Uh, they do get about 10 to 12 inches in diameter, so it is quite large. Uh, you know, and most of them aren't going to reach that big in an aquarium uh, because they have been known to live, you know, 100 to 125 years, and most of us won't even see the life of them. Uh, so that's another good thing is these guys are real hardy, they're going to live forever, uh, you really don't have to worry about it. Um, if you do get any white spots, brown spots, try to roll the moss ball in the aquarium uh, and just let it sit and see what happens. If the white spots don't go away, try to cut them off, cutting as least as much off as possible. Uh, if you cut too much off, you can actually damage it and cause more problems and then you have a lopsided moss ball. Uh, and that's going to cause some problems on the bottom with a flat side just because you're going to have some dying algae. Uh, if you have any more questions on the moss ball, leave them in the comments. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, mafishguide.blogspot.com. Uh, like I said, I'll have a couple more review videos coming out in the next probably week or so. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks.